Hey everyone, today we are out here doing a little bit of shooting, um, which is a good sign and we'll talk about later. Um, but we wanted to do another update on how Christian's hand is doing. Uh, we believe this is going to be part three, four, four, three, four, whatever, four. whatever number this is. 2.6. Um, it's been how many months since your injury? Uh, since my injury was in December, so mm -hmm. what are we at? Beginning of, or it was beginning About of December, so yeah. it's been a while. And we've done a couple updates videos. In case you haven't seen those other ones, first of all, you should probably go back so you can get a little bit of context about what we're talking about. But um, we've been basically documenting the recovery of Christian's hand ever since your little mishap with a skill saw. So just yeah. really briefly, in case this is the first video people are watching, in a nutshell, what happened? Well, I was cutting a large piece of plywood, taking the strip off of it. I was using my left hand with the saw and holding up the strip I was cutting with my right hand. I got too close and the saw blade grabbed my glove, completely severed my thumb, cut across my palm, severing the tip of my ring finger completely off and grabbing a hold of my pinky and severing it and wrapping around it. The, the, the pinky kind of wrapped up in the saw, which mangled it and it was just kind of hanging by a thread like this. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so it cut all the tendons in my palm, severed the thumb, blah. So seven and a half hours of microsurgery, they reattached my thumb, put my pinky back together, sewed everything up, and that was that. And again, if, when you, if you go back and watch those other videos, you can get an idea of how much it's improved since then, even just visually. Um, Visually, it looks pretty similar to the last time we did a video, um, so I'm not going to really worry about putting up a bunch of updated pictures to compare and contrast what it looks like. However, we seem to have a lot of difference in the actual function. So those of you who have been following my channel probably saw that when I did the CMMG Banshee review, Christian was in there shooting, and there were a lot of people who noticed that. Um, and so really in the last month or so, probably in the last couple of weeks or so, uh -huh. We'll get to the pinky. Um, in the last couple of weeks or so, you've finally gotten back out shooting. Today yes. was your first time shooting handguns again yep. since the injury and um, some of your favorite handguns to shoot. So, um, My two little girls. Why don't you talk about that a little, a little bit? Um, well, to kind of go backwards, one of the first things I did when I got home from the hospital and I was able to take a lot of the bandages off and it, it was about a, probably a month or so. I put my 1911 in my hand and couldn't hold it. Couldn't pull the trigger. It hurt to hold it. And that kind of sent me down a downward spiral, which is why we started the videos to try to get me out of that thing. Since then, I've been beating the living crap out of this hand. Just doing things that my doctor tells me not to do. Working with it, stretching it, squeezing it, hitting things. Anything I could think of, just try to bang some life back into it. And it has been relatively successful. So. Being able to come out here and shoot, I was a little more confident shooting because I got to shoot the rifle, so I knew I could actually pull the trigger and hold clean because I did make that 200, long shot. 290 yards offhand, offhand suppressed, eight-inch barrel shot. It made me feel pretty good. I couldn't do it. <clears throat> so, putting the gun in my hand, I haven't put a gun, in, a, 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 a pistol in my hand for a while. Not since that day I got back from the hospital because it's just been it's just been weird. So having another gun in my hand felt foreign for a couple seconds until I started cracking off shots and then it all started coming back to me and, and it hurt a lot I mean the pain was excruciating after the first five or ten rounds going through there but you know pain is life life is pain so I just kept shooting and I, I think I did pretty good you know not too bad all things considered mm -hmm. uh, my main goal I remember when we did the very first video was that I wanted to be able to shoot my 1911 one-handed which I did. Ten rounds to my 1911, one-handed. Pretty damn good, about too. A, you know, about, a, about, about that much of a group. I wasn't too upset with it. It hurt immensely. Uh, but I did. So now the next goal is weapons manipulation. Dropping the mag, reloads, weapons, malfunction, drills, all that kind of stuff. Drawn from the holster, drawn from concealed. All those things. That's my next goal. But now I'm up and I'm shooting and I can, I can pull a trigger. Yeah. So... Not only was he able to pull the trigger on his 1911, which has a very nice, soft, or two lightweight, two and a quarter pound trigger, 
Um, we were shooting a Glock 19, mm -hmm. put a couple rounds through that. And then we were out here reviewing the Rex01 Tactical, um, which you were able to shoot in double action, which mm -hmm. it does have a pretty long, heavy long, double action heavy trigger. Pull. It's probably about a 12 pound trigger pull on that in double action, I would say. Yeah, probably around 10, there. 10, it's definitely o over nine pounds. Yeah. Um, it's not as bad as a Beretta, which I think is a 12 and a half pound trigger pull. So it's yeah, probably it's less not. than that. Yeah. So maybe a 10 pound, give or take. I Somewhere in there. I'm not a not a gun guy, but I guess. All that to say, <laughs> <laughs> but all that to say, you know, went from not being able to pull the two and a half quarter pound trigger mm -hmm. in your 1911 to out here running the double action trigger and then the heavier triggers mm -hmm. on the Glock, your SIG 226 and, and your uh, Rex 01. So just really quick, some interview time here. When we did that first video and you said that your goal was to shoot your 1911 single-handed, mm -hmm. did you think that that was ever going to be a thing? And if so... How long did you think it was going to take you? I figured it would be a thing just because I like to you know, plan for success, not plan for failure. But I, I, had, I had put my timeline out towards summer mm -hmm. for that. You know, I knew I could shoot two-handed, the nine, you know, the nine millimeters and things like that because it's much less recoil. It was a recoil that I was really afraid of because mm -hmm. I, I had so much damage in the web of my hand and I, I don't have a lot of grip because I've only really got my middle finger and half of my ring finger for grip because the trigger, you know, and the pinky's useless. So that was what I was worried about. So I put it out till summer to, mm -hmm. to be able to do that. And, you know, here we're just in Mar in eight, first of April, give or take, last week of March, first of April, and I'm already shooting it. And, that, you know, it's a pretty big freaking deal Yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, because I know when we did that first video, we were saying, like, oh, maybe on the one-year anniversary or whatever, we'll do a big shooting day. Yeah. And, you know, it's not going to take... I mean, we can still do that, absolutely. Sure. But will. it's going a lot faster than I think either of us even anticipated, which, which well, is a good I'm, thing. Well, I'm doing a lot of things my doctors are telling me not to. I'm pretty much disobeying every doctor's order I've gotten. My physical therapist does not me. like me at all. I'm supposed to be babying this and just doing some basic stretches. And instead of doing that, you know, I'll do push-ups with my fist just to bend the, the tendons and stuff. It's really still really weak, mm -hmm. um, but it's not as weak as it was a month ago. Mm -hmm. And it's nowhere near as weak as it was two months ago. Yeah. And it just keeps getting exponentially stronger. Today, I've actually got a lot more range of motion after shooting than I did before I started mm -hmm. shooting. Mm -hmm. um, I could only partially make a fist, and now I can make almost a completely bald fist with these three fingers anyway. This is going to do nothing. Speaking of which, what's going on with your pinky? Well, my pinky, the bone where it was severed in here didn't knit mm -hmm. and isn't going to. Mm -hmm. They just, it's not going to do that. So on May 11th, I'm having my pinky amputated right there, right where the bone cut is, having it taken completely off. So that's going to get that out of the way. Because today I was having to loop it in between my fingers here to shoot which didn't hurt as bad as that one video when I did it because the pain wasn't as great. And I was able to do that. But if I'm drawing real quick and having to go to it real quick, I'm going to slam that pinky into mm -hmm. my hand every single time. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to, sh it's going to rip up the bone. It's going to, it's going to be a bad day. So not having that there, I'm going to be able to get a full grip and stuff. And then I'm going to make a robotic pinky for it. There you go. Yeah. I have, have an idea using an old Peds dispenser and toothpaste. <laughs> I'm anxious to see that. Um, so yeah, uh, again, it's only been a few months since since the, the injury happened, and again, you you've gotten better a lot faster than I was expecting, and I'm sure you were expecting. You can hear the bones rub together. It's not fun. It's this is I don't know why I signed up to do this, um, <laughs> but yeah, it was it was just really reassuring to not only see you shooting, but it, shooting pretty well single-handed. Because, um, again, uh, we knew he could shoot left-handed. He's been able to shoot left-handed since before the injury. Mm -hmm. um, so seeing him shoot single-handed or right-handed was, was a really cool thing. It was nice. I shot the, the Rex 01 a full mag mm -hmm. single-handed. Mm -hmm. And that was, that, was, that was interesting. That was, that was nice. Um, my endurance for shooting is really low. Mm -hmm. You know, my hand will start to shake. And I'm starting to get, you know, the, the pain of the muscles in here that I haven't used for such a long time is starting to hurt. But that's just fatigue. That's not, that's not, an, that's not really injury related. Mm -hmm. That's just fatigue. And the more I shoot, the stronger I'll get, the better I'll be. Yeah. It's almost like uh, shooting has been physical therapy for him because it's mm -hmm. loosening up those tendons a little bit. So we're going to see if we can get his doctor to. Uh, 
pay him to get, to, get his to insurance to pay for range time. Mm -hmm. It'd be pretty dope if we could get that to happen. But, Super cool. Um, but yeah, so again, I, I want to say just a thank you to the people who've been following this journey, mm -hmm. for lack of a better word. Um, and given their support through it, people have been really, really awesome. And there actually haven't been many people saying a bunch of negative things, which I really appreciate. Which I really appreciate because um, I can shoot now. Yeah. <laughs> right. So um, <laughs> it's just been really cool to see how this process has developed and to the point where now we're out here shooting this video after shooting guns and doing some other videos. Yay. Um, and right after we're done with this, we're going to hop over to the next range over and uh, let him shoot my AR a little bit so I can get his opinions on the trigger that's in there. Mm -hmm. um, you guys will be seeing that when that video comes out. Um, so anything you want to say between now and the next time we do an update? No, honestly, I really appreciate a lot of the feedback that I've gotten. Um, a lot of the feedback has been your standard, you know, good luck, you're, you'll, you'll do it, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. But I've had a lot of people that have been really very helpful with information and videos and, you know, real live, honest to God support for, that I could take and, and use. And I really appreciate that. I haven't had to really deal with anybody being stupid, which I appreciate again. Mm -hmm. And it says, this, is, this video series has been exactly what I wanted it to be. It has been very cathartic. It's been the, given me the ability to have something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. It's given me the, the ability to talk about what's going on with my hand and, mm -hmm. and really think about it. And it's motivated me to not be a little baby about the whole thing and just sit in my house and go, I need somebody to get me tea or something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's, that's been the really big thing because I, I, I can be depressed all by myself. And now I've got you lovely viewers out there, you know, being encouraging and being helpful. And I, I want to wanna make you all proud. And I can make a fist, except for that, which I'm just going to, if yeah. you look, ew, it's uh, so gross. It's not fun. <laughs> so, but the next time we do a update, we'll probably have a lot more shooting footage to show you guys. Yeah. Um, but then we'll also have one less digit and we'll see if there's anything. And cool they won't let me it. keep the bones. Which is kind of ridiculous. I was going to keep the bones and make a keychain out of it so that I could have all of my digits when I went to Valhalla, but can't keep it. Oh, that's a good call. Because it's a biohazard. Eh, whatever. You can keep mounts on your wall, so yeah. I don't know why you can't you have keep your chicken own bones. bones. So anyway, if you guys know a way around that before yeah. May 11th, let us if know. Got any lawyers in there? I can make it religious reasons or something. <laughs> well, you already mentioned Valhalla, so yeah, you got some Norse runes there. I, I do. I got lots of them. You got the T. I know. I got, that's the one I, I recognize. Got Odin but. and yeah. So, okay. But anyway, so uh, again, I just really appreciate everyone's support. And uh, you're continue, continuing to uh, watch and support this process. And again, the people who noticed that Christian was shooting in that last video, um, again, I, I appreciate how much you guys have been following and how much you guys have been supporting and how much I know you guys will continue to support. But again, some major milestones happened today, and uh, I think we all feel really good about that. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, with all that said, until next time, as always, I hope you're able to get something out of this video, and I really appreciate you watching. Almost got the thumb up. Almost. Almost. It's there. It's getting there. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Oh boy. All right. You got one more shot. Let me. Let me... All right. <laughs> now, now you've demonstrated that it's not just. It's so awkward, but yeah. results don't lie. Yeah. And now that you've done it too, I can't blame the trigger. Nope. I like it. It's pretty. I really do like that trigger. I like, I like the face of it. The face is nice because you don't get that. It's just more comfortable on the finger. And that, I don't know what I'm doing. Now that reset is just, and there's no travel past it. None whatsoever. Once it resets, that's it. It's just ready to go again. There's zero travel. I like it. I'm a fan, a huge fan. Who makes that? Rise Armaments. Rise Armaments. Well, they did themselves a fair turn. <laughs>